when you go out and play other teams, you're not playing the guy in the neighborhood. You're playing the guy who's trying to go to college. You're playing the guy who's trying to get out of his situation. You're playing a guy that's like, I just love to play basketball. That's what we got. That's what we're thinking about right now. Are we selecting, selecting the players for, for these teams? It's our day that we have to let some kids go. Unfortunately, that's just the way this game goes. We got a lot of kids out here today, and it's a, it's a tribute to what the coaches bring to the table. That uh, we got these kids that are coming out. We had some kids that got injured yesterday. They're back. Um, they brought some of their friends here. Uh, we got a great group of kids. I'm very, very proud of what these kids, who these kids are, and uh, I, and I'm very happy. So, you know, it's a bittersweet day, but it's a good day, and I think we can have a great turnout, and uh, we will we will see what happens. Junior Elite, day three. Oh, but I don't know yet. So, oh yeah, he's a bubble guy. Yeah, he's a bubble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he here? We need one body. We got. 60 y'all right here. And all y'all been the same position. They playing hard. I mean, playing hard, but you can only keep one. What, what we're doing right now, we're evaluating the players because we got to make cuts. So what we're doing right now is giving each kid a chance to get in, really kind of show what they can do from this particular standpoint. Um, and we're, we're going from there. I would say the hardest part is getting the accurate evaluation because you get some kids who are better suited for the half court game. And there are kids that will do exactly what you ask them to do and just complete team players. And then you get some guys who are better in the open floor, really only one-on-one -on -one players. So really just trying to get an accurate evaluation of exactly what the kid is and how exactly do we want to make up of, make up our team. We want to get you playing outside on the wing, right? Because if we're playing in front of college coaches and they say, oh, this kid's 6'5", but all he can do is, you're going you to be guarding guys your same height yeah. that can play on the wing. Brought him in to play the point because he's going to be right. that type of pressure. Right. He's not scared of anybody. Right. He's right. going up against great talent, a division one type guy. He's not going back now. It's going to be about defense. It ain't going to be about shooting all the time. It's going to be about playing defense. We got to stop teams. If we can't stop a team, we're not going to win the game. All right? If you don't play defense, you won't play basketball. That's, that's number one. If you don't play defense, you won't play basketball. So I think this will be one of the more talented AAU teams that I've ever had. Um, in my days of coaching, and at the same time, I'm excited for the summer. Well, Coach Gadsden's going around, he's talking to uh, the parents. It's hard, hardest part of the whole AAU, because you got good players, you got six guys in the same position for one spot, and, uh, and it's tough, uh, but you, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta let them go. So that's what Coach Gadsden's doing, talking to the parents, letting them know about the AAU teams in the area, and uh, just trying to help them out. If they can't help us, we're just still trying to help them. With our program, being in Northern Virginia, um, we feel that this program gets exposure to the world. I mean, we're actually doing things such as uh, we have our showcase game that, um, that we expose our kids to college coaches. We also play in the best tournaments in the country. Um, our affiliation with the uh, determined directors, so they know about Virginia League. Virginia League is a household name uh, to a lot of tournament directors throughout the country. We've, we've been associated with them for three years and just watch it expand and the quality and character of the kids and the parents that, that uh, come out. It's just, just fantastic. It's the best of the best. We are excited about it. The reason he chose Virginia, Virginia Elite was he said it was most like a family and it makes it really easy to work with and um, on the court and, and play with these guys if you have a close personal connection to them. And it was really exciting and nice to know that that's the environment we're a part of. Hey, Mama. How you doing, Robbie? You doing good? Yeah. Good, 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 good. So don't be out here for yourself. We out here for each other. Win together, lose together, all right? Family on six, one, two, three. Elite. Elite. Four, five, six, Family. Family. We're ready to rock and roll now, and Virginia League, here we come.